Hey everyone. About a month ago, I started noticing fuel smell coming from my 2016 Tacoma. I got underneath it and discovered that there is a small crack puncture in the front of the plastic gas tank. Um, my initial attempt to fix it didn't go extremely well. Um, I tried using this JB Weld fuel tank repair kit. And while it reduced the smell that I could uh, detect from outside the vehicle, uh, it didn't it didn't completely cover the hole or it, it didn't completely seal the hole up. Uh, I just got back under there and was actually able to use a flat tip screwdriver and and peel off the original fix. It's uh, basically it's a two part epoxy with some mesh in there. But it doesn't stick very well to plastic, even though I, I prepped it as per the instructions and sanded it down, cleaned it off really well. Uh, it just doesn't stick to plastic very well. Um, so I did some more research and discovered that you can use a soldering iron to melt the plastic around the damaged area to uh, fill it back in. Um, also, if, if there's not enough plastic, or you're not uh, able to melt enough down, you can use the plastic from a oil bottle to um, substitute or to to um, give you more material to work with so I'm going to I, I cut out a small piece from the bottom of a transmission fluid bottle that was empty um, I did a, a test melt with my soldering iron on it and it melts down uh, pretty well so I'm gonna get up under the truck and give this a shot I'll be back with you before I get under the truck, I just wanted to show you real fast that the soldering iron melts right into it. it. Doesn't burn it. Makes it nice and sticky uh, so that you can combine it with the fuel tank plastic that's melted and uh, get, get a good solid amount of material to seal up that puncture. Okay, so here is the original JB Weld repair kit that I was able to just peel off of the gas tank. As you can see, there's our puncture. It's not terrible. Even with the fuel tank full, it weeps out. It doesn't leave a puddle uh, or anything on the ground. Um, uh, right now, the fuel tank, uh, the mile, the range indicator says I have about 10, 15 miles left, so I shouldn't have more than about a half a tank of gas in here, and the truck is parked uphill, so the, the fuel uh, is at the back of the tank. I can barely smell anything right now, so I know there's no gas right here next to the puncture. Okay. Um, for those who want to know, I'm using a plain, plain old Radio Shack, rest in peace, uh, soldering iron. It's a dual watt, 20 or 40 watt. I've got it set on the 40 watt setting. And let's, let's see what happens. Right now I'm just going to try to uh, use the fuel tank's own plastic to uh, fill, in the, fill in the hole. It's pretty deep right here though, so I don't I don't know if I'll have enough material to work with right here. Oh yeah, that's melting really nicely actually. piece of plastic just dripped on my arm. All right. 
right, so it looks like I got the small split that ran up here okay. But there's this indention right here. Well, looks like I've got it. Looks like I've got the whole plug, but there just doesn't seem to be much material right there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to integrate my oil bottle plastic in with the fuel tank get plastic and see see how it works. Doesn't seem to be mixing well, but it is. Uh, at least it's staying put. It's not just falling off. Let me give it a second to dry and see see if it sticks or if it's gonna pop off if I pry on it with a screwdriver. Oh, and just so you know, I already already cleaned this area before I got under here. Sorry. Uh, yeah, if you're just starting to work on it, uh, just get some degreaser and um, you know a shop rag or you know cloth, whatever you have handy, and uh, clean the area real good, real well. Um, I also use the degreaser on the on the plastic lid on both sides just to make sure there wasn't any uh, transmission fluid left over. Um, Seems to be doing okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Right now I'm just trying to do the best I can to get that hole filled in, try to feather the original plastic from the tank with the plastic from the bottle so that it makes a good seal and gives it some hopefully decent strength.
so now I think I'm just going to let it sit, let it cool down completely and harden as much as it will. And I'll go over to the, uh, to fill it up. And see if I notice any more smell. Actually, I'm going to smell it right now. And, uh, I don't smell any fumes, uh, any, anything profuse. Um, I mostly just smell burned plastic. Um, so it's probably not a good indication right now, but um, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, I uh, just went to the gas station, put about nine and a half gallons in there, so there's a little over half a tank. I'm parked with the nose facing downhill now to make sure that the fuel is moved up front as much as possible, put a little pressure on here. And so far, so good. Um, there's no weeping. Uh, the, originally, um, there was it wasn't dripping fuel. There wasn't leaving a puddle on the ground. But this this whole area around here was wet with fuel. That's what was causing the the really bad odor. Um, there's there's no dripping, no no weeping at all. Uh, I there's the very very faintest smell of fuel when I put my nose right up to it. Um, but otherwise I, I don't smell it even from three feet away or two feet away where I'm at right now. Um, so only time will tell as to the strength of this repair, but for now it sure beats an $1,100 dealer bill to replace the fuel tank. Um, if it starts weeping again, I'll, I'll post any updates to it, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. And uh, I hope this helps out somebody that uh, wants to fix their own fuel tank. Let me know if you have any suggestions as to any way I could have done this better. Um, I know that using the plastic bottle was uh, maybe a little sketch in some people's minds, but it's what I had available at the time. And I wanted to get this, uh, get this fixed so it would stop being an issue. So again, let me know if you have any suggestions and uh, have a good one.